Hey guys, Danny from YGA and welcome to lesson 15 in our Intermediate Guitar Gym course. And in this lesson, we're going to be taking that three note per string scale again, and this time going through an exercise in fours, okay? And essentially, this means that we're going to be doing a kind of bendy, twisty exercise that you see really often players use, especially in kind of shred, uh, kind of rock music, where you just want those epic runs, that kind of thing. Um, this is one of those big sequences that you'll see used often, okay? And unlike in the last lesson where we were doing a lot of legato, we're going to be doing all picking with this. So it's going to be hugely beneficial for now stepping up that economy picking mixed with the alternate picking, okay? So really, economy picking. So pick up your guitar and let's get started. Okay, so if you've just joined us, don't forget that you can get all the lesson write-ups, interactive tab, and fretboard diagrams absolutely free over on our website. And we'll put the links in the description below and in the video. Also, if you're enjoying this lesson and the course so far, please do leave us a like, hit the subscribe button, and leave us a comment to let us know how you're getting on or if you've got any questions. We do our absolute best to answer every single one of them. Finally, if you're on Instagram and want to share your progress with us, then please do tag us at Your Guitar Academy. We genuinely can't wait to see how you're getting on with this course. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's the exercise we're going to be working with. And as you can see, it's a real picking masterclass here that we're going to be going through. Um, and I'm going to give you two options for the picking, but mainly we're going to be working with economy picking. But you can also do this in alternate picking if you prefer. Okay, I really want to open it up to do what's more comfortable for you. Um, I would say that if you love that really super fast shred rock kind of metally kind of sound, then I would try and stick to economy picking. If you feel like you're gonna get more use out of this in like a, a jazzy, a bluesy, or maybe even a, I don't know, maybe even a more pop kind of sound where it's all about rhythm and, and funky kind of vibes, maybe alternate picking might be more for you. So we'll go through them both and you can see which you prefer. But basically, let's just work out the exercise first. So what we're doing here is we're running up four notes of the scale and then coming back to the second note and then repeating from there. Okay, so we're going up four notes, one, two, three, four, then coming back to the second note and going four notes up from there, one, two, three, four, then coming back to the second note in that sequence, so that would be the, the third note in total, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So the way to think about it is you're basically going, in terms of when you hit those notes ascending, you're going one, two, three, four. 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 So as well as climbing up the scale in, in fours, like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you're also climbing up the scale in, in ones. One, one of that, one, slowly climbing up that scale. So up four notes, back to the second note, and up four from there, back to the second note, up four from there, and so on and so forth, okay? That's your pattern. And what I'll do is I'll do that really nice and slowly, so you can just see, again, with any sequence, it just, there's that little bit of like, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, what, what on earth, what on earth, and then wallop, it just clicks and it sounds amazing. So, and you just get it. You're just like, ah, oh, okay, I get it. And now I can repeat it everywhere across the whole neck. It's just one of those things with sequences, and we've done a lot of sequences, so there's a lot going in at the moment. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four. 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 Now, when you get here, I just want to talk about this bit specifically. Everything else was 
really clear, you stick to the exact same fingers that you use as you just go through the scale. When you get to this bit, here, you just want to go to these, so one finger, third finger, first finger, third finger. So if you look, I'm going through this part of the scale, shape. one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then my second finger is going to come across, one, two, three, four. That's how I would navigate through that part. And then you're back into your, exactly as you've learnt it. Okay, and on the way back down, same idea, but in reverse. So one, two, three, four, back to the second note from the highest. If you're unsure, do make sure that you have the ebook if you bought this course and get the tab there, or there's the tab on the website if you're following along on YouTube or wherever. Um, again, when I get back here, use the fingers I recommended. So, second. So, you use exactly the same fingers going back through that section as well. So, second finger there, third finger, first finger, third finger, first finger. First finger, little finger, second finger, first finger, and then back through. And that's how we would go through that particular sequence, okay? So let's just talk about the picking for a second here. Let's start with the idea of economy picking here. Remember, we're looking for the path of least resistance, the, the, the most economical way to pick through this, okay? So we would do down, up, down, down. Then of course we come back to that uh, fifth fret here. So we're gonna, we would in theory do an up there because of course we're down here. So although we've got to go over that string and up to the E string, we'd still, the up would be the quickest rather than going over it and doing a down, okay? Okay, so up, down, down, up. So, those first, that first little bit, we've got down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Okay, let's just try that with your fingers first, because once you get used to that, the rest of it will fit into that, basically. But to make it really simple on yourself, just think, okay, it's, it's alternate picking until I cross a string. That's the way I think of it, to make it easier. Rather than, okay, there's a down, that's an up, that's a down, that's an up, that's an up, up, down. I just think, until I cross the string, it's alternate picking. Okay, when I cross the string, you do economy picking. Whatever direction you're going in, keep going in that direction. Now, for a lot of you guys, that might feel really awkward. Even though you've been practicing the economy picking and in and a, and a, and a thing where you're doing threes, one, two, three, 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 that economy picking is clear, it's structured, and it's simple, okay? When you're doing something like this, you might actually prefer a little bit of alternate picking because when, in an exercise like that, um, there actually isn't a perfect economy picking pattern because you go down, up, down, down, and then you've got to come over a string to do up. So it's not perfect in that respect, okay? Um, so you could just do everything in alternate picking. Down, up, 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 down, up. So you've got the option to do both. So I want you to sit there and I would just work with just the first few lines. And be consciously thinking about this right hand. And what, what do I, where do I want to go? Does it want to go down, up, down, up? Or does it want to go down, 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 down? If it wants to go down, up, down, down, then maybe you want to be sticking with that economy picking idea throughout. If it wants to go down, up, down, up, and then, and then consistently like that, then perhaps that will suit you better as a player, okay? You've got options here, okay? You, what I'm saying is that do what fits you best, okay? Don't try and think, 
Okay, what's, what, what are other people doing here? Because everyone's got a slightly different way of going through this, I would say. Um, so do whatever fit, fits you and what fits your fingers. Okay, so now if you pause that video and just kind of go through that and just try and get that roughly together, we're gonna start doing that with a drum beat, okay? And I'm gonna drop to eighth notes, 60 BPM. And I'm gonna deliberately do this in two different ways. We're gonna go through it twice. The first way I'm gonna do economy picking. And the second way I'm gonna do alternate picking. So we cover them both. And, and by the time you've played through both with the drum beat, you'll know which one you prefer. Okay, it will just be quite clear within yourself. Okay, actually, I have to do a little less thinking this way around or, or whatever. So here comes the drum beat. And your aim is to get it up to this pace before that final workout, okay? Okay, that's my little splurge before going back into this. Uh, these things are so random. So, after four, ready? One, two, three, four. Back down. Oh, almost. first way which was mainly economy picking I was a little bit in and out there uh, that kind of speed but mainly economy picking and now I'm gonna do alternate picking which for me personally suits me better especially at this kind of speed two three here we go guys four And there we have it. So that's what I want you guys to get to up to that kind of speed, played along with me or just with the metronome at 60 BPM, eighth notes. Okay guys, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. And when you're ready, please click through to the next video, which you'll find here somewhere. Or if you wanna start from the beginning of the course, you can find the full playlist right here. Once again, please do hit that like and subscribe button and leave us a comment to let us know how you're getting on or if you've got any questions. I'll see you next time.